To produce a scatter plot, first enter in your paired data points. If you're not sure how to do that, check out the movie in this section on entering paired data into lists. I'm going to press the STAT key just to the left of the directional arrow keys, and then I'll press ENTER to view my lists. Here you can see that I have four data points, 1, 17, 2, 26, 3, 42, and 4, 57. To generate a STAT plot, I'm going to press the second key in the upper left corner of the main keypad area, and I'll go straight up to the Y equals button. Notice that stat plot is written there in blue just above it, so I'll press that key. And now I'll move into the stat plots area. In this case, I'm only plotting one particular scatter plot, so I'm going to highlight number one, which is the default, and I'll press enter to edit my parameters for plot one. The first thing I want to do is turn this plot on. It can be helpful to turn plots off when you have quite a few of them, but in this case, this is the only thing I should see in my graph right now. So I'm going to turn this on. Next, I'll use the down directional arrow key to choose the type of plot I want. You can see that I have a series of different ways to graph my data. In this case, I want it to be a stat plot, which is the first option just to the right of the type header. And that's the one I've got highlighted here. So I'm going to leave that one alone because that's exactly what I want. Next, I can determine what I see along the x-axis. In this case, I want to use list 1, which is the default, so that's perfect. If I wanted to use a different list here, I could enter it. So I'll press the down arrow key again to move to the Y list, and these, of course, are the values graphed along the Y axis. This also is the default L2, and that is the list I want to use, so I'll leave that as the default. Pressing the down arrow key once again moves to the mark area, and this determines how I want the calculator to graph the individual points on my plot. So if I want it to be a square point, I could use the default. I can press the right arrow key to get the crosshairs, and that's the one I'm going to use. So I'll press Enter, and now all of my points will be displayed as crosshairs. I'll press the down arrow key again to highlight the color spinner, and then use the left and right arrow keys to choose a color for the scatter plot. Next, I need to make sure that the viewing area in the graph is appropriate to my plot. So I'm going to press the Zoom key in the center of the Graph keypad area. I'll find the Zoom Stat option and choose that one. This will resize the window to fit my data points, so that's the one I want to use. So I could either press the number for Zoom Stat, or I could press the Enter key in the lower right corner since I've got it highlighted. And either action will show me my scatter plot.